my name is Deirdre Hennessy. I'm a research officer in Moore Park for my county Cork. Um, and I'm just going to talk to you briefly about the benefits of white clover. Um, white clover is a legume. It's um, the ideal legume for grey swords as it with withstands grazing and on a frequent basis. Um, and it also um, is perennial, so it lasts within the sward. Um, the benefits of white clover are that it can fix um, atmospheric nitrogen and make it available for plant growth. It can fix anywhere between zero and 150 or to 200 kilos of nitrogen per, per year. And including white clover in your swards uh, also increases the digestibility, that is the feed quality, particularly in the second part of the year. Uh, so from about uh, June onwards. And with that, we see, a, we see an increase um, um, in feed quality and hence that can improve milk um, production and animal performance. So if we look at this graph here, um, this is the average of two years of grazing study that we're running here at Moore Park. It's a system study and we have three treatments. We have grass only receiving 250 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year. That's this yellow bar here. We've grass clover receiving 150 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year, the blue bar, and we have grass clover receiving 250 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year. And you can see in, in this graph here that the milk solids production on the two clover treatments is greater than on the grass treatment. So on average, the cows on the grass clover treatments produce an extra 33 kilos of milk solids per cow per year compared to the grass only treatment and on a per hectare basis that's 90 kilos of milk solids. Um, the stocking rate on this experiment was 2.74 uh, cows per hectare. In terms of herbage production we found very similar herbage production for the three treatments here. We found uh, all treatments grew 14 tonnes of dry matter per hectare per year. In another study which we completed we looked at different um, fertilizer application rates and we have five of them here, 0, 60, 120, 180 and 240. And we had two sward types. We had grass only, which are these yellow bars, and grass clover, which are the green bars. And we found in that study that regardless of fertilizer rate, once we included clover in the sward, herbage production increased by about two tonnes per hectare per year. So that's a big advantage of having clover in the sward. From those two studies, you can see you can get an increase in herbage production, but I suppose from a farmer's point of view, you get an increase in milk solids. And all that increase in milk solids comes from about June onwards when you have that higher quality in your sward. In terms of managing the sward, we're not managing the swards any different to how we manage um, our, good, our gra grazing swards in terms of good grassland management. So our guidelines would be to graze tight in the first and the last rotation. So that's about three and a half centimetres. Um, in the mid-season, we are running at 18 to 21 day rotation and we're grazing down to four centimetres. And our target pre-grazing yield is 1,300 to 1,500 kilos of dry matter per hectare. So there are benefits to having white clover in your sward in terms of milk solids production um, and also there can be in terms of herbage production.